Hi, my name's Vince Sheehan, and today I'd like to talk about Statistics of a Short Introduction by David J. Hand. David J. Hand is Professor of Statistics at Imperial, Imperial College London, where he is the Head of Statistics in the Mathematics Department. And uh, this very short introduction was published um, back in 2008. Now, um, my knowledge of mathematics and indeed statistics is very uh, basic and, uh, you know, thus my interest in these little books because I like learning about new things. And um, it's quite an interesting book about the place of statistics. Why do we need statistics? What is statistics? And um, begin with an introduction to statistics about its general uses and perhaps some definitions, clearing up of misconceptions. Um, Hand seems very keen to uh, get rid of this notion as the subject being rather dry and stuffy, particularly in the computer age. And, um, you know, and he stresses how vital statistics are today and you know every, and of course that's an obvious thing to say we all we live in an age of um, well I think Hand himself describes it as an avalanche of data we're just surrounded by data what how we what we to make of this data how we to interpret it and of course statistics also has a, a role in prediction and you know, inference and what we might expect to happen in the future, even though it's uncertain. There are some laws which might help us give us some general idea of what may happen. To give some order out of the chaos of uncertainty, if you like. The statistics is very important, of course. Um, and then in, in the second chapter, he goes on to describe how, um, you know, it's a very simple interpretations of data, including averages. And even someone of my limited mathematical knowledge knows a bit about averages, um, about means, um, you know, the, the median, the range, etc. Um, and indeed, that you know, that's, that's a, a perfect example of the importance of statistics, you know, in, sur you know, surveys of populations, you know, people's height, uh, diet, house prices, people's salary, etc., how we might work out the, the averages of those. And then in the next chapter, we, he talks about the perils of bad data or missing data and how we might mitigate against such um, deficiencies in, uh, in the information we have at hand. Um, then chapters four and five are the most difficult chapters to get your head around. I think these go into more... Uh, Perhaps a bit more mathematical territory than uh, I am comfortable with. But, you know, as he suggests, I read the, chapter, the chapters a couple of times and I, I got a vague gist of what's going on. Um, we have the laws of probability. And, uh, you know, anyone who has ever played a scratch card, for instance, and you know... At the back, it tells you the probability of winning, etc. Um, and they draw. He draws an example of flipping a coin. You know, is it going to be heads or tails? And there seems to be two broad um, methods. One's the frequentist um, statistical method, whereby you gain the idea of what the uh, what, it, what the chance of getting the desired outcome over many tries, ideally infinite tries, but of course that's impossible. Um, there's this thing called the law of big numbers, I think, which is connected to this. 
So you know that over, you know, thousands of flips of a coin, you know that roughly half would be heads, half would be tails. But then there's this other approach called Bayesian statistics based on Bayes' theorem, um, which I gather is a more subjective approach um, where you can bring your own experience, your own interpretation to the data. Perhaps you know something someone else doesn't and it's more of a subjective approach to um, interpreting the data and predicting outcomes. Um, at least that's how I read it anyway. And then chapter five similarly talks, goes into more detail about estimation and inference. And then at the it's chapter six, he goes into some um, standard statistical models. Models, of course, which make the overwhelming complexity of life, kind of break them down into more um, simpler and, and more uh, basic understood um, models, um, which we could easily, easily interpret. And of course, that's got its weaknesses because things are far more complex than that. But, you know, they nevertheless, they're useful and could be very effective in the right hands. And then finally, Han talks about the importance of computers, which I guess even in the 10, 12 years since uh, this book was written, um, has probably, I'm sure, made an even greater contribution to the field of statistics. So yeah, like many of the uh, scientific and mathematical very short introductions, and my background is more in arts rather than uh, the sciences, you know, some of it I, I need to read a few times to get my head around, and even then I don't get all of it. But it's a fascinating little book, um, very interesting, and I, I've learned a lot from it. And I've just stuck a, just a very brief slideshow about... Uh, roughly what each chapter is about and as well as some of the, the main themes which crop up in this book are. Thanks for watching. Bye.